Hey guys, Maria here. Today I wanted to update you on my Pan That Palette challenge progress so far. I'm working on the original The Rock Pro palette and I have been using this pretty much only for the last month or so. Um, I actually don't think I've really used any other eyeshadows except for what's in here. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up and see where I'm at. Okay, so I'm just going to hold this here for a second so you can kind of see. I hit pan on four shadows this month. I hit pan on the cream shade. I hit pan on mauve. I hit pan on nude. And I hit pan on light bronze. All of those, well, not really cream, but mauve, nude and light bronze had a pretty good dip going in them when I started this challenge so I thought there was a really good chance that I would probably hit pan on them pretty easily. Um, cream, I was kind of surprised I hit pan on it. I've been using it to blend out the edges of my shadows so I mean I'm glad that I hit pan on it. Um, it does a good job for that. Let's see. So I've Let's just, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what I've been using, how I've been using it, and any shadows that I haven't touched yet. So I've been using, basically I've used Cream, Taupe, Mauve, Sable, Espresso, Pewter, Light Bronze, a little bit of Gold, some Champagne, and Nude. I haven't, oh, and Black. I haven't really touched the white shade. And I haven't really touched the slate or deep purple very much. Um, I think I'll probably just move on from cream to white whenever I run out of the cream. Um, I've been using the black shade to set my gel liner. And that works pretty good, but these are such soft shadows that it tends to have some fallout that I need to clean up. It's not a huge deal, but it is a little bit annoying. Espresso has been really great. Um, for an outer V shade. I think it is like, it's a unique color because it's super pigmented. It's just a, like a warm, dark, dark brown, but it's so pigmented and you don't need very much of it. So I really, I really enjoy espresso quite a bit. Um, I haven't used much of the deep purple or the slate at all. I just, I tried deep purple yesterday and it's okay, I will use it up because I do want to use this entire palette, but I just, I'm not super impressed by that color. And Slate, I will be honest with you, I'm not sure if I've ever, ever, ever used it. I think it's still like totally brand new. So that's kind of where I'm at. I've been doing a lot of the same looks over and over and over. I figure I will probably keep doing that for now until I finish up some of these shades. I have been playing a little bit more with gold today. I have that on today with a little bit of mauve in the crease, a little bit of light bronze in the inner um, the inner half of my lid. Uh, let's see, what else to say? I did do a look using the pewter color. I like it a lot and I think I'll play with it a lot more once I run out of some of these others that are my favorites. So. Month one down with the Lorac Pro. I know many of you guys are just getting ready to start your Pan That Palette Challenge. So I just want to let you know that these are really not that hard to use up. Like, you do need to keep working at them, obviously, but it's a pretty soft uh, formula. So it does kick up quite a bit of dust. My advice is if you really want to get your money's worth out of it, swirl your brush in and then tap it off because you still have plenty of product on your brush to use and then come back in and pick up whatever you tapped off and use it on your other eye. Um, because personally, when I do use it up type challenges, I do want to get through the product, but I don't want to do it at the sake of being wasteful. That just defeats the purpose to me personally. So I'm excited to see what the next month holds with this challenge. I did do, like I said, a like smoky pewter look and a tutorial on that. So I'll leave that link down below if you're interested. It's a really fun look that is still, I think, appropriate for daytime wear. Uh, if you guys are doing this challenge, please let me know below. I would love to watch you guys as well and follow along with your progress. All right, see you guys in month two. Bye.